Yeah. But Michael Delzato is – he's arguably tearing up the, the AHL as a over a point-per-game player on the blue line. Why do we not, with the injury to Shabbat on the left side, put him in the lineup? It's funny because we have two people – Are you telling you know, me right now, the- Matt – are you telling me Victor Mete is better than Michael Delzato at the moment? Oh. I've always thought, okay, so there's two people. You've got some people on, on the media spectrum that believe, and obviously I'm including myself as far as media members, but some critics are suggesting he's too slow. I tend to agree with that. Do it agree. And then I know some other of his friends. You've seen Carlo Koliakovo is one of them. And I know he's friends with Michael Delzato. He's been very much yeah, pro Delzato sure. as far you know, right? I, if I, I guess this is where I stand. I don't see him in the long term plans with this team. Whether I believe Fair he's enough. a really good player or effective player or not, if I don't see him here next season, I don't care. You know, this is a non discussion for me. Okay, you could make an, uh, an argument that well, now that Shabbat's hurt. Do you just bring him up to help out the team? But what are you really accomplishing? Um, you know, I, I'm not saying I don't believe he shouldn't be here. I'm not suggesting that. He is very capable of playing at the NHL level. There's no question. I do think his, he's lost a step. The same would probably apply to me if I was still playing. I would have the same criticism. You know, I'm a little slower now. I'm not I, 25 anymore. I'm 35. So I don't know that there's room for him here right now. I don't think you need to have him up. I'd rather see Dylan Hetherington playing in the lineup than Michael Delzato. That might be a hot take for a lot of people. That's how I feel. Um, <laughs> right now, I think the focus should be on, on Mete, on Branstrom, on Hetherington, because these are players that potentially could end up as depth guys, right? Like, I don't think I, I, I don't see Josh Brown sticking around here. I like the player uh, as far as off the ice. I've only heard good things of him. I know guys that skate with him in London, Ontario. And they, they speak nothing but high praise of Josh Brown. So that's why I have a bit of a soft spot for him. Because my team captain in London when I won the Memorial Cup has spoken highly of him. I take that, you know, as, as legitimate advice. But I don't know that I can see Josh Brown here in the future. I just don't. Because I don't think the hockey yeah. sense is quite there yet. And I don't think the foot speed is there. I like his toughness. I like how hard he works. I don't think he's here. Wally, feel free to cut me off at any point. Because we're talking about the defense. And I tend to give long-winded responses. Um, so no, I think it's, in, it's good. in closing, in closing right now, I don't think or care to watch Michael Delzato play for the Ottawa Senators. My focus will be on Branstrom, on Mete and on Hetherington and on Brown. Those are the players I'm watching because I'm going to be by management. I want to figure out yeah. who I believe I'm going to invest a little in and keep around for next season. Okay. That's fair. I, I just think with you losing your number one guy who eats a lot of minutes, that there's a chance a guy that's played, I don't know, 600 and some games or whatever it is, okay. can help you compared to Victor Mete, okay. who doesn't get to play. That's what all I I'm agree with you. Say. I agree. I understand that. But, uh, but like I said, what do you gain? What better opportunity right now than to analyze what you have on the back end and just like have six effing scouts in the crowd at the Sens games following the team around and just watching the defense. Just sit there. I, I will go and do it for free. Send me to the game. Let me analyze the players on the back end, and I will only focus on them. And you have now a, an infinite stretch of time until the end of the season now with Shabbat out, who eats up 30 minutes a night. You allocate all those minutes to all these other fringe players that you're trying to figure out who exactly they are. Like the Branstrom thing, I get he's young. When I was Branstrom's age, I had like 17 points that season with the Blue Jackets. I had like four goals and, you know, 14 or 15. I don't remember what my stat line was, but I was a defensive D-man with no power play time. So the apologists that are trying to say, well, you know, he's still young and that's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. You're either an NHL player at that age or you're not, especially nowadays with how young the league is. So figure it out. Is Mete a defenseman in the NHL? Is Branstrom an NHL player? You figure it out. And now's the time. Because I don't want to have to answer these questions next year. We've been doing it for two years. You want the team yeah. to take a, take a step forward? Figure the fucking decor out. Just figure it out. <laughs>